Hi, this is Anson from HHOP. Today I'm going to share with you how to create a new product, new item. So from day-to-day uh, -day navigations, click on the plus button of items. It will take you to the data entry screen. So for example, today I'm creating a new product called printer. So these product codes uh, can be your uh, manufacturer product codes or even the uh, uh, barcode. So, so this can be uh, if it's barcode, then you key in the product code here as well as the barcode here, so that uh, when you have the barcode reader, it will automatically uh, you know, update, uh, call up the information for you. So today, I'm just creating a, a a sample file, so I just call it a printer product code, and this printer called ABC printer, for example, for your case. And this category, as well as custom, uh, we can uh, discuss this in a separate uh, talk a video. Uh, you can actually input uh, more information about this printer later on and can be used for your reporting purpose. So for the details, uh, I would say that I will buy this item and I will sell this item as well and I want to stop this. So uh, this control account is very very important. Well, when you uh, set up this uh, new item, make sure that you are actually uh, setting up to the correct account code. For example, this one is for your buy this. When you buy this, it will actually go into this uh, 6000 uh, GL code. And if it's sell, it will go into your 4000 GL code. So this one is actually referring back to your chart of account. Huh? For stock on hand, it's the same as well. So this, if you set up wrongly, your reports will come out wrongly. And basically, um, it will give you a wrong information. So it can be a problems if you set up wrongly. So please be careful when you set up this control account. Right? Okay, so you can import the image of the products here. Right? Um, buying info typically I will I will I will do a check uh, on this box because when the next purchase it will update the buying price for me. For selling information I can actually key in the retail price or the default uh, default uh, selling price. So once this uh, price is set up, when you generate an invoice, so a standard uh, or default price will appear for you. And of course, if you want to change the price, you can change it at that invoice uh, transactions uh, entry. Okay. Then inventory here you will see uh, state uh, inventory status, uh, how many on your stock, the average cost, and the total value, and uh, bill or material. So this uh, uh, at once level. Topic, so we will have a separate video for this, right? And of course, you can have a reorder warning uh, set up here as well. Next is history. So in this history tabs, you can actually see all your in and out of this item. So you can see uh, all the historical data from here, right? Because money works uh, is a, a weighted average uh, costing methods. So all the standard costing, the calculations, all this will be done by the system automatically. Okay, so, so basically that's all on how to create a new items. Thank you for watching.